So if you're new to selling print on demand products with Etsy, one of the things you definitely want to make sure you focus on is leveraging the search volume and the search traffic that's already coming to Etsy. There are hundreds of thousands of shoppers on Etsy every single month. And if you know where they are searching up products, you are able to identify what products you need to sell to them. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to find what customers are searching up on Etsy and how you can actually gather that search traffic to create products yourself to start selling on Etsy. I'm sure this is all with you coming up next. Now the name of the game when it comes to selling product on Etsy is all about search volume. If you're able to figure out where people are actually searching up items, you're able to identify where they are actually purchasing items. And so if you're trying to do this just with the Etsy search bar alone, you can see some information, but not all. That's where Sales Samurai comes in because they give us additional information in regards to how many people are searching up an item per month, as well as other relatable search terms that can be very well much so searchable and actually help drive traffic to your products as well. So if you wanna use Sales Samurai on your own, they were able to give my audience a discount code for you to check out their product and to see if it is best for your print on demand business, I make sure I leave all the details down in my description box below. All right, so here we are in Sales Samurai. And as soon as you get to the home page, you will see they have a lot of tutorial videos right here in the software itself for you to really gain a better understanding of every single tool they offer and how you can maximize that for your Etsy products. Now, in regards to our video today, we definitely want to spend time on the search area as we're going to do some research in regards to keywords we can use for our Etsy listing. And we definitely want to make sure whatever keyword we use is searchable, but also relevant to what our product is. And so we can actually type in some keywords here and we will start off with a great niche that I believe you should start off with, which is teacher shirt. And from here, we're able to see some additional information to determine what type of keywords we should use as well as what type of products we need to create. So when I do this, I like to start off broad, just typing in teacher shirt right here. And we already have some information coming up. Again, it shows us that's a long tail keyword and it shows us the level of search volume, the average click through rate, and again, a level of competition. Again, I'm not concerned about a level of competition in the beginning, because again, we want to strive and find these micro niche keywords, but still keep our search volume relatively high. But again, we're looking for competition to be low now if we scroll down a little bit further we see some um trending keywords that's being used on etsy and again i see the search volume here as well as the level of competition and so this is important when we are definitely you know utilizing some tags for our listings here when i'm utilizing tags i'm, I'm not concerned about the competition i look at tags specifically for relevancy but also searchability right see how many people are searching these things up so if you are looking to create some titles we need to be a little bit more specific in regards to what type of products we want to drive sales too. And so with that being said, we can go down a little bit further and we can see some additional listings that actually share this keyword teacher shirt. Now there are a couple of things that we can look at to determine which ones are actually selling well. But again, they're already giving us the uh, screenshot of the first image along with the title here and they're just giving us the amount of views and so you can go and filter this from highest to lowest in regards to views and typically the you know the the listing that has the highest views obviously has the highest sales typically so we can go here a little bit further and as we see here this particular t-shirt here has the term fourth grade shirt so now i had that large search term teacher shirt but now i'm seeing there's something regarding fourth grade shirts that may be doing well same thing here i see this you know same type of category being sold fourth grade shirt they have more so a phrase in the beginning hello fourth grade shirt so again automatically i'm already realizing that grade level t-shirts might be better to target as opposed to the general term teacher shirts but again we can go down here and further collect some data in regards to what is actually selling well now you definitely want to be mindful of what type of category you're selling in because we definitely don't want to track anything that's an svg because that's outside of what we're selling in regards to this video we're just selling print on demand t-shirts but again we can just keep on clicking here and actually just try to find some things that is more so micro niche as opposed to just giving us just a general 
general you know, perspective of teacher shirt. All right, so we know that great level teacher shirts are doing well. We saw, you know, fourth grade shirts here. You know, we even also saw some things related to first grade shirt and second grade shirt. So we know we can go in a little bit further here and identify different type of t-shirts that's doing well. But in our case today, we just want to search up a little more, you know, micro niche as opposed to the general search term teacher shirt and see what type of results we can get for a second grade shirt. And the reason why we want to do this is we want to make sure that the competition actually get lower and the search volume is still relatively high and again we definitely want to find these best-selling items in this particular you know category and see what they are selling in regards to product design all right so here is the results for our search term second grade shirt as you can see here this search term is receiving almost 27,000 searches in the last seven days on the etsy search bar so right there on the platform this is what people are typing up and this is what i'm also talking about here you definitely want to make sure that the search volume stays high but the competition gets low and again when some people see you know 28,000 results coming up they feel like this is you know extremely competitive but we've got to understand that the only thing this is showing us is that the SE algorithm is touching data points to 28,000 listings based upon the search term. This is not taking into account if all of these listings are using, you know, great keywords throughout their entire listing. They're using great, you know, tags. They're using great descriptives in their description. They're using perfect, you know, communicators in their mock-up photos. They're, they're using the right color in their mock-up photos. Are they even using the right design elements? Are they using placement? Are they using personalization? I mean, there's so many boxes they have to check off just to make sure they get the conversion. So just because you see this, you know, 28,000 results coming up, don't get deterred by that number. Because again, if you are going to have this competition, I always tell people, then compete. And there's so many boxes that people are not even checking off, you know, with their listing that you can compete for this easily okay so being that we have this here i think this is a great space for you to start selling in and additionally we see some extra data that we don't see from other tools and we see the click-through rate that's the ctr that means how many people are actually getting their product clicked on in this particular search phrase and again 70 percent is great that means a lot of people are clicking on a lot of items and now it's our job to identify okay what type of items people are clicking on all right so if we go down a little bit further we have some additional keywords we can add to our title and our tags. More specifically for my tags, I'm not concerned about the love of competition here. I do wanna make sure that the search volume is high because obviously the more people that are searching up a product, the more the SEO algorithm can, you know, leave some data points to my design and my product listing. So again, of course, when we go through this list, we want to eliminate anything that is not regarding our product, like SVGs or mugs or tumblers, but we can take into account this phrase here, a second grade shirts, we got in here a second grade teacher shirt, uh, category keywords, shirt, t-shirt, t-space shirt, t-dash shirt, and more specifically also have some relevancy in regards to what my design is. So we know we are selling a second grade t-shirt. All these things here are great to add to your tags if it is relevant and relatable to what your product is. Now, where we're really going to spend our time today is identifying, again, what keywords are actually driving tons of sales to these products and again we can actually go here and see the products that are selling well and we know this based upon the level of views that they have and what is actually you know driving traffic to their product so we see this here second grade team shirt or team second grade funny shirt we see this here swinging into second grade this is more so for a student we see hello second grade notice how everything we have here is extremely relatable to what our search term is which is second grade shirt all right, so from here, I can determine, again, what type of products are doing well based upon just the number of views they have on their listing. So I can actually filter this from highest to lowest if I just want to have that really hyper focus to see what's doing well. I can click on a listing like this one here and see additional data in regards to what this product is. Again, keywords they're using in their titles and tags. Again, the overall life of the listing here. So this one's here, not even 60 days old. We see the number of likes it has. Again, how many views it has received. And again, most importantly, the keywords they're using here that's driving traffic. And this is huge because I want to find keywords that are searchable and relatable to my product. So again, I know that I'm searching up a second grade t-shirt and I see the actual tag name here, but additionally, I'm able to see the search traffic in regards to how many people are looking up this per month. Now, this is where, again, most people don't have this feature in their tool and they're able to show me the average click-through rate for this particular keyword being used. So that gives me further data information in regards to how people are interacting with this keyword and if they're even clicking on items that's tied to this. 
I can copy keywords that are relevant and relatable to what my product is. I can actually plug this right into my Etsy listing, right into my Etsy title, or I can click the heart button to save this later. And this is where I'm able to compile multiple keywords for multiple listings I want to create. So I often talk about batch creating and batch researching. And so if I know that I'm finding amazing keywords that's driving in tons of views for a product that's only, you know, less than two months old, then I know that these keywords are something I should put into a folder, some type of file, and then create multiple second grade t-shirts utilizing keywords I found in the tags here but also in the title of this product now in regards to this particular product and their keywords i can actually see if they're using this the proper way in their you know beginning of their description if they have it in their title and i see all this data here that proves to me that even though they're using great keywords they're not maximizing their keyword strength because they don't have these specific things in their title in their description that means i can actually you know leverage my listing higher than this one because i'm able to check off all these boxes here and potentially rank higher and what's cool about still samurai i can actually run a score to see where this fits with this overall listing with specific keywords so let's just say i want to see how this ranks with this keyword here second grade shirt i can plug this into the keyword search tool i can do a quick submission to see how this particular listing rank with this specific title and i see they're ranking well here because they checked off a lot of these boxes and so again i can actually find the wins the trends but also the gap that I can actually fill in as well. For instance, this one here, first day of school shirt. I can plug this in here and to see if they are ranking well with this keyword. And as you can see, this one here, they're not ranking the best. And it tells me why is that this keyword is not presented in their title and it's not presented in the first 40 characters of the title. And as I often told you in my other videos, Etsy put a lot of SEO value on the first line of your title. So here we have it again. This is a gap that I can actually show up and actually be visible in and actually outcompete this listing here in the same niche, which is the second grade shirt in the same area in regards to back to school, but I'm able to rank higher because I can fill in these gaps where they don't have this specific keyword in the beginning of their title. Again, it's all about having the search volume for your product outbeating the competition of course with great designs you know great mock-ups communicating key value points in your images and also in your description but when it comes down to the basic foundation of keywords we can actually outrank this one if we just have all these boxes checked and having the right keyword placed in the right area of our listing and this is some data that i can gather just not from one listing but as you see here we have a ton of best-selling products visible for us to create in addition to that, we also have their keywords that they're using in their titles and tags. So what we just did here was looked at one listing, but Sales Samurai is taking into account all of the listings here and gathering for us all of the major keywords they're using in their tags that we can also use in our title as well. So this really speeds up the entire process, scanning all of these best-selling products on our list here and giving us all this data into one area to see, okay, what is doing well with search volume and how relevant this is to my product. Again, I want to make sure that I do this just not for one product, but again, do a massive research in regards to keywords that's driving in traffic, because if they're driving in traffic and I design my product accordingly to what people are liking, then I know it will also drive sales for my product. So as you can see, utilizing Sell Samurai is a great tool to use if you truly want to find the search volume for different terms, as well as see what other products people are selling well and what keywords they're using. Again, it is all about search volume on Etsy. And once you're able to identify the keywords people are typing in, that can change how you actually start and scale your Etsy business. Now, if you want to check out Sales Samurai on your own, they were so kind to give my audience a discount code to their product so you can try this out and to see if it is best for your print on demand business. Now, in today's video, I didn't have time to talk about how to actually find amazing best selling products and recreate them to start selling on Etsy. However, if you want to learn that next step, make sure you check out this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online, then make sure you subscribe to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.